higher order functions and Kotlin language features that will help us to use it. Also, we'll touch lambda expressions, lazy evaluation, functional references, monads, and destructive declaration. Let's go straight to the first video, lambda expressions. In this video, we'll talk about lambda expressions and anonymous functions. Actually, this is exactly the same thing. Lambda expression or anonymous function is a function that is not declared by passed immediately as an expression. Sounds a bit confusing, but let's take a look at the code. Previously, to use a function, we usually declare it like this. But this is not the only way. Let's try to use lambda to create same function we declare just now. Looks very simple. So what we've done, we used curly braces to declare anonymous function. Only difference between this function, previously we declare a function with the name, but now this function doesn't have a name. But what we could do to give this function a name, we could save it inside a variable. Like this. In this case, we still could call this function. It looks a bit confusing, but no worries. I will explain how it works. Actually, this call equal to this call. This is happened because lambda expression or anonymous function is the whole class that have a single method called invoke and number of arguments for invoke method depends on number of arguments of lambda itself. Let's try to create lambda with a single argument. As you can see, declaration of arguments looks almost the same declaration of the same arguments for the simple function, except maybe for the error sign. Let's try to call this function. Looks pretty simple. And let's try to use explicit invoke call. The result will be the same. What we learn? Now we could create simple lambda expressions with an argument. What we could also do with lambda expressions? Imagine the lambda that have two arguments. But we'll never use the second argument. In this case, we don't need a name for that. In case we don't plan to use the argument of the lambda expression, we could replace a name with the underscore. 